So today we're going over the wiggly text like Sam Colder uses, or you've probably seen it in some other cinematic type videos. I'm going to be doing it in my clip that I used in my vlog. I didn't use this effect, I preferred the 3D text stays in place effect, but this wiggle effect is a good way to add some uh, flair to your text or make your audience notice the text without getting into all that messy After Effects and any of that. You do all this right here in Premiere Pro. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so we're in Premiere Pro right now. You're in a new project. Let's go ahead and drag our clip onto the timeline. I don't really need this entire clip, so I'm gonna cut that extra off and scrub back to the beginning. So we want to uh, add our text when it speeds up, but first we need to create that speed up. So go ahead and press C, get your cut tool, V, get back to your selector tool. I'd like to speed up the video to about right there and change, right click, speed duration. Let's go to a thousand percent. Ripple delete, that will delete the empty space, right click to do that. And so then it accelerates super fast. Now we want to make that wiggly text. So we're going to press Control T. It's going to make a new title. Let's call it Wiggly. It's going to open up this box for you to type your text in. Click in it. I'm going to change my font. And then I'm going to. Um, this is. that in, control A, I'm gonna up my font size here. So you can see it in that little tiny window. Hold control, kind of remove it where you want it to go. About right there in the frame. And then drag it from your project area onto your text over that sped up area. Okay, now we want it to wiggle. So come up here to the right where it says effects and Type in uh, turb, T-U-R-B, turbulent displace. Go ahead and drag that down onto your text layer here. And then it distorted everything, but we don't want it to distort because if we scrub through, it just stays distorted and we want it to wiggle. So change this to zero. So by default, it has no distortion. Come to the beginning of your text there and then we're gonna check amount and we're gonna check offset and we're gonna go to the end hold shift so it snaps make sure that little magnet is on S for snap there and then we're gonna go change amount to be about I don't know, let's say 20 20 should be good and then we're just gonna make this offset go crazy so click and drag click and drag So if we play, it should begin to wiggle. You can change the beginning amount if you want it to have a, an initial wiggle, so change it to maybe like 14. So it has like this little wiggle effect. Now it looks kind of crappy quality because I have it at 1 8 because my computer doesn't have enough RAM to handle this, but when you render it out, it'll wiggle. Now if you want to change the complexity of the wiggle, there's a option for that over here on the left with complexity. So check that little timer and then you can up your complexity and it will just change where it wiggles. You can see in real time as I, as I move this complexity. So let's change it to 4.8 and then that makes it wiggle super fast. So basically to do the wiggle, you just mess with these settings to get the desired effect that you want. So if you change amount up to like this, you know, it changes it into mush and you don't want mush. So you just want the wiggle effect and that's generally around, I don't know, I'd say under 35 to zero. Or you can go negative too if you want. But anything higher over that, you're just gonna make it unreadable and weird. But that is how you do the wiggle effect and a quick tutorial on how to speed up your footage there. But if you like this video, if you think it helped you, you want to see more of these videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. 
I make a lot of other things. Uh, I uploaded a vlog. If you want to see that, go check that out. I use the skills that I teach here in my vlogs so you can see them used in real time. And hopefully, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>